Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a viewer emailed me today and wanted to know how they could change the size of this. It's 10 by 10, and I'm just using a reference. Of, I'm going to make it 8 by 8. Well, you can't just change this to 8 because now it's changed our whole sides to 0.8, and before they were 1 inch. So there's two ways to do this. I'm going to control G and group this together. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. And now I'm going to hit control U or go down to group and U. So we want an 8 by 8, but we want these circles 1 inch. So there's two ways you can do that. Probably the easiest way would be to select it all and make everything 8 inches. Now, very easily, Go back, and I don't know if this is going to work 100%. Make this point one, or make it one inch. Just select on the item, make it one inch. Make it one inch. Whoop. And make it one inch. Now you've got the exact same thing. That would probably be the fastest way. Another way to do it would be to take your circle, get out of the way, delete these two circles, delete that one, change your box back to 10. Well, see, I didn't grab it all. Select it all and change it to 10. Now we got our line. And hit P on the keyboard, and now we've got a one inch deal. So our, our nudge factor needs to be four inches. We're going to control D, arrow key up, arrow key to the left. Control D, arrow key up, arrow key to the right. Control D, arrow key down, arrow key to the left. This one we don't have to make a duplicate of it, just down and over. So it's very easy to manipulate these holes it's just, you just can't do it any other way. So those are two options. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.